hello hello guys uh here we have a lenovo anyway it's not turning on at all but the fan it does spin and then it stops and then it spin and then it stops and then it spin anyway let's go ahead let's try to repair this machine you can see the fan is spinning and it stops Okay, it stopped completely. Okay, it's spinning again, then it stops. Anyway, I want to check something. I want to check the voltage. Let's start from the 19 volt. Let's confirm if everything is working proper on this machine. So what you do, you turn your multimeter into a range of 20 volts. Uh, okay, let's, let, let's make it 200 uh, volts. And from there, you start from the fuse. You do have 20 volts and then let's, let's check that the last mosfet we do have 20 volts all right and then you change your meter into a range of 20 volts again back to 20 volts why let's check the cpu power okay zero volts let's check the other side Oh, okay as you can see it wants to turn on but and then i mean uh, it shuts down check the cpu so there uh let's check the other side of the cpu see there okay zero there what about five volts Okay, we have 3.3 .3 volts what about 5 volts we have 5 volts and uh, it's all steady what about the 3.3 3.3 it's fixed as well it's steady so what you do now let's go to a bios chip well, let's check pin number one pin number one is 3.1 okay let's check the second pin 3.1 as well check the dead pin it's 3.1 and uh, it seems uh, fine it's not uh, moving up and down what about the main power rail to the chip the 3.3 do have 3.3 there let's check the next pins 3.1 and it's not changing there we have uh, 0 0.10 okay it's millivolts what about here it's millivolts okay now now let's move on let's check the other chip okay there we have 3.3 direct and then we have 3.3 and then we have 3.3 we have 3.3 3.2 we have 3.2 okay let me check okay guys so here to make life easier and to save time for yourself what i normally do is it's very 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 easy let's remove the fan i mean the power and then from here we have to remove the BIOS, uh, the two BIOS. Let's go ahead. Okay, guys, so what we need here, we need a BIOS programmer and a clip for a programmer. After that, we need this guy. I need this guy okay i have this guy you clip this guy right there and there is a there is a bios there on top let's remove that bios okay so guys now we will have to wait uh for this to cool down and then from there
okay guys we'll have to wait for this uh to cool down and then after i will remove this clip and then put it here on the bios programmer and uh program the bios chip the first bios chip 